button. Okay, wonderful. All right, so we're going to start the recording. And like I say, I welcome everybody here. The topic is the power of essential oils uh, in our daily lives. All right, so uh, there are so many things that we can do on a daily basis uh, with the power of these wonderful oils. So, wanted to talk just a little bit about the science of essential oils, all right? So, inside the plants, and as I'm doing right now, I'm looking around and I'm, I'm fully surrounded by plants. They're almost on every side. I've got them on the porch. I've got them in planters. There are trees uh, directly in front of me. And the neat thing about uh, uh, plants and trees and flowers is inside of those, hidden away, and the roots and the seeds and the flowers and the bark are highly concentrated and highly potent chemical compounds. The, these natural compounds, they're called essential oils, all right? And essential oils give a plant its scent. Essential oils protect those plants from the hazardous environmental conditions and even assist with pollination. And that's just a small fraction of uh, what essential oils do. There, it's a it's a wonderful, uh, what, what I consider a gift um, that's been given to us. So plants, they have a seemingly endless variety of benefits that extend through many arenas. Um, as science continues to progress, the many applications of plants for human health and wellness is becoming better understood. In fact. Plants are truly the backbone for all life on earth. Without plants, life would not be possible. Perhaps most importantly though, is that they provide the food and the oxygen needed to sustain most living organisms. And in addition, plants are the source of many of the resources used for construction as fuel, as well as, as, well as various textiles, inks, cosmetics, personal care, all types of different products in personal care, adhesives, containers, decorations, that plants give us so many things. Um, but what we want to talk about tonight is essential oils and the beautiful and wonderful gift that we have of oils that come from plants. All right. So since the beginning of time, and this particular picture here is a beautiful picture that I found of, of frankincense, perhaps one of my favorite oils, um, and one of the oldest, actually, um, uh, that we actually know of. There's others, is myrrh and sp spikenard and cassia, and there's some very ancient uh, oils. But since the beginning of time, many people have used plants for their health benefits. And for example, uh, frankincense oil, which was extracted from the gum of the Boswellia tree, and this dates back nearly 2,500 years, actually from even before Christ. But we do understand, we do know, and those of us who read the Bible, we know that frankincense was an oil that was actually used, myrrh, spikenard, that actually used these oils, um, uh, you know, in um, uh, just anointing the dead, um, you know, even anointing while, while, while people were still alive. And so these oils are just, they've, they've got a long history um, their benefits. Frankincense was originally used for addressing various health needs, and today it is still used very much. I use it every single day. And I'm going to tell you a little story um, right about now that um, uh, it was back on Monday. Um, I woke up in the morning. Let's uh, let's make sure everybody has, um, has muted themselves so there's no problem. So it was back on Monday. I woke up, and this particular side of my neck was it was hurting and it, and it was swollen, and I determined that there was I, I had a, a swollen gland, just one, but it was it was pretty painful. I mean, it hurt to turn my head to turn my neck. Um, I didn't have anything going on on this side, but I did on this side. Frankincense was what I used. I used frankincense, I used lemon, and I used peppermint. And for several times throughout the day, I just rubbed those three oils right here on this swollen gland. Nothing has come of it, nothing happened since. Um, it just went down, it just got better. Now we all understand what swollen glands are. Glands are part of our lymphatic system. They swell and they, they, they get filled with fluid when you're trying to fight something. Well, that's exactly what essential oils do. They help what the body already does 
which is fight sickness. Our body is very good at it. God has given us an awesome immune system to fight sickness. And at any given time, we're fighting a multitude of, of, of viruses or bacteria that might be invading our bodies and, and we're successful at it. But sometimes, sometimes we need a little bit of help. That's where these essential oils came, come in, I should say. And so that's what I did. I just rubbed the three oils on the, the swollen lymph node several times in the day and nothing happened. In other words, I didn't, I didn't get overwhelmed with any sickness. I knew my body was fighting something. And so I gave it a little bit of support. And that's all, that's what these oils do. They give our bodies and, and our immune system that is an awesome system, they just give it a little bit of additional support that sometimes, sometimes it just needs a little bit of additional support. And so again, the frankincense, it was used thousands of years ago um, you know, for, for very, uh, very beneficial health uh, needs. Um, today, it's still used for relaxation, for cellular function. One of the things that we understand with frankincense, as well as with all of the oils, is its ability to just, um, uh, to just absorb right into each and every cell. And that's an, um, an amazing thing. It's one of the few substances and compounds um, that can actually do so which is what makes the oils so very effective. That's for a whole nother day. I actually did want to go into some of the science, but I decided not to. Um, so there again, frankincense um, is today, it's, it's still used for uh, some, some wonderful benefits uh, for our health and for our wellness. Um, now, but also on top of frankincense, though thousands of other plants have been used for their beneficial properties. And currently, over a quarter of all healthcare products contain some sort of plant derivative. So basically, this is no new science. This is something that's been, that's been happening for thousands of years. Now, doTERRA, here's where doTERRA comes on the scene. In 2008, doTERRA was born. And it was built, doTERRA was built on the mission of sharing the highest quality essential oils in the world, okay? Now they understood that they were not the only essential oil company, but what they wanted to do was their mission was to share the highest quality, all right? And so having seen for themselves the incredible benefits that can be had from using these precious resources, a group of healthcare business professionals set out to make this mission a reality. They formed a company and they named it doTERRA which is a Latin derivative meaning gift of the earth. Thank you very much, Lou. My friend here just gave me some awesome Terra Shield to, he obviously sees me wiping mosquitoes away and I'm just gonna, and it sm this smells absolutely awesome. But anyway, so the top 10 essential oils um, and these, these are oils that, as far as I'm concerned, um, you know, if, if you've got a medicine cabinet and you've got, you know, maybe your cough syrup and you've got your flu medicine and you've got your, uh, your, um, your, your aloe vera, and which aloe vera is a great, you know, great, and that would be, a, you know, a complement to the, to the essential oils. But if you have, you know, your different uh, burn creams and scar creams and, you know, I, I know I used to use, you know, all those things too. Um, but this, this right here, this actually should be what your medicine cabinet actually looks like, all right? So we've got oregano, which is very, very good for germ busting, for immune support. Uh, melaleuca, which is I put melaleuca on my face every single day, and I'm hoping to, to keep a young-looking face. <laughs> well, well, that's what we all want, right? We want to stay young as long as we possibly can. And that's what I want to do. I want to keep wrinkles down because I've got a lot of laugh lines. I smile and laugh all the time. So, I, you know, I begin to develop all the, you know, which I'm, I'm glad. I would rather have laugh lines than have frown lines. Um, but anyway, so Metaluca is very, very good for your skin as well as frankincense. Very, very good for, for wrinkles and things like that. We also have On Guard, which is, it should, that should be front and center in your medicine cabinet. On Guard, it disinfects. Um, it, it, it boosts your immune system. Um, then, like I was saying about frankincense, 
a very, very, very good oil, um, which basically frankincense, it, it just carries us in so many different ways. It supports almost every single system. That I think he's sleeping. Okay, whether it's cardiovascular, Lewis, if you could please mute yourself. <laughs> I hear you talking to the baby in there. <laughs> anyway, um, it, 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 um, it just goes over almost every body system that, that we have, okay? We've got our integumentary. It supports our integumentary. We've got our nervous system. It does wonderful things for your nervous system. We've got a cardiovascular system with our heart and our blood vessels. We've got our lymphatic system. We've got our digestive system. We've got our reproductive system. We have got systems going on in our bodies. And, and the beautiful thing about not only frankincense, but all of these oils is that they will literally support and strengthen these systems. And I have found it firsthand. We're gonna talk about a little bit of that. We've got lemon, which is probably the oil that I use the most. Um, I drink it all day long. Every time I fill up my, my, uh, my water cup, I, I put a few drops of, of lemon essential oil. Um, it's kind of like I call it a rotor rooter for your digestive system, um, but it's very, very good also for cleaning, um, detoxification, um, and you diffuse uh, lemon, and it's almost, it's almost hard to be sad when you're diffusing lemon. Um, then you've got lavender. Um, the other day I, I, I was out and I was getting bit up by bugs and on my feet and I, I went home, I took some lavender, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, rubbed it together, put it on my feet and on my legs where the bugs were biting me and did not have one itch, not one problem. Lavender is an awesome oil, not to mention that it smells absolutely wonderful. And if you have sleep issues, lavender is the oil for you. All right, then we've got peppermint. Peppermint is the type of oil that I, I say there's, there ain't no way you're going to sleep if you've got peppermint around. You're taking a long road trip and you have a bottle of peppermint, you just open that thing up and you sniff it and it gives you alertness. It also gives you energy. It's also a cooling oil if you're, if you're overheated or hot. You take a little bit of it, you rub it on the back of your neck and voila. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, let me let me double check something really quick here. While um, I wanted to make sure, okay, it looks like it, I, I wanted to make sure that everybody, Francis, you're here. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that you guys all were actually able to get back on. Um, Francis, if you could do me a really big favor and. Uh, just, I just want you to take note of who's here, and I want you to uh, just send me that text afterwards, okay? So that way I could just, I could just go ahead and, and, and keep going. Um, anyway, so then we, then we, um, we go on to um, Breathe. Uh, Breathe is a tremendously powerful oil. You put a drop of Breathe on your, on your palm, and you rub your palms together, and I wish I had the breathe right here. And you take a, a cup of your hand over your nose and maybe you're stopped up, you've got a stuffy nose, maybe you have allergies, sinus issues. You do what I just said and you will believe that breathe is a powerful oil. It opens you up, Every, all of your sinuses, everything in your head, it just opens up. If you have sleep apnea, People put breathe in their CPAP machine. Breathe is a tremendously powerful oil. And then of course there's Digest Zen, which if you have digestive issues, and if you try Digest Zen, you will, you will fall in love with this oil. This, this oil is some, peop, uh, some that I know of, I know my daughter, um, several people that I know, this is their favorite oil. It smells a lot like black licorice, uh, digest and does, um, but it works very quickly. You have gas, you have bloating, you have stomach issues. Um, even if you have congestion you, and you rub it just not, not in your eye or not even close to your eye, just right along your sinuses, it will actually break up the mucus and help you to be able to breathe uh, better again. So a, a tremendously wonderful oil. And then there's, there's deep blue which Deep Blue is a blend and uh, very, very good for sore muscles, 
um, arthritis. Um, I actually use it for migraines. Of course, I haven't gotten any in a, you know past number of years. Um, but even if I feel a little, you know, maybe I wake up and it's just kind of take a few drops and rub it on the back of my neck and I'm good to go. I wanted to uh, just kind of talk about just a few um, oils also this way. Um, I like these because they're beautiful uh, presentation. Um, and so again, I wanted to talk about the three most important oils that I feel that everybody should at least have the opportunity to try. Lemon being one of them. It cleans, it purifies the air, it purifies the surfaces. You, you put a few drops on your, on your counter and you wipe that counter down. Not only are your surfaces purified, but they smell wonderful. All right, cleans your body naturally. Um, it's very good for respiratory. You put a little bit of, of lemon with eucalyptus or peppermint or breathe on your chest and it helps to open things up. Also good for diffusing. Lavender again, like I was saying, uh, very good for sleep issues, very good for skin issues, very good for, for any type of tense. Lavender is all things calming, all right? Calm, it calms down fussy babies. You put, excuse me, you put a little bit of lavender on the bottom of their feet or on their back, um, in their bath water, on their pillow, on their blanket, in their bedding, helps them to relax and to be able to fall asleep. But you can also diffuse it. And then there's peppermint, which peppermint is kind of just the opposite of lavender, but equally important. Very, very good for any, any kind of respiratory uh, issues, for breathing issues. Um, and you diffuse it, uh, you know, like maybe you're, you know, you're, you're, you're doing, maybe you're at work or something and you, you want to stay focused. Uh, peppermint is, is a very, very good way to uh, not only give you energy for your job, but also to help you to stay focused. I wanted to include a few slides of some different oils, maybe some oils that some of you that's on this call, uh, maybe you have not tried for yourself. Well, petty grain is, is often uh, spoken of as um, uh, the man's type of a lavender, all right? It's, it's also very calming, um, and it's a wonderful, wonderful oil, all right? It's very good for cardiovascular issues. It's very good for sleep, antioxidants. And here's, here's an interesting thing. It helps to suppress body odor, all right? A lot of us, we don't want to use the uh, antiperspirant, so we just use deodorants. Well, this is very, very good for just taking away the body odors that, you know, maybe you might have from, you know, from sweating. Julie, now this is, uh, what is this? This is the hippie oil, right? Um, uh, some, some folks absolutely love patchouli. Um, it's a very strong, I believe it's a very strong, but it is, it, it will bring a relaxation to that environment. It's just a very calming and grounding. It's a very woodsy kind of an, kind of an oil. All right. And it's very, very good for the skin. A lot of these oils you're going to find are very good for skin, right? Skin needs oil. Right, because what we've got on, on, on top of us is, is we've, we've got, it's a, it's a squamous layer, it's stratified squamous, okay? So that means that it's, it's layers of squamous, but at the very, very top, this is all the dead, that it, and it's, and it, it, I mean, it can, what is the term um, that I, I learned coming down south is, you know, people say, well, I'm ashy, you know, or whatever. It's, it's the, the reason why, maybe, maybe only dark, skin people can see the ashiness, but light skin people get ashy just as well. Why? It's because that top layer of skin is constantly dying and sloughing off, okay? And the nice thing about these oils is they provide that, that necessary moisture that actually will, will be absorbed into the skin, all right? So the oils are, are very, very wonderful. There is so much science that could actually be spoken of um, with these essential oils, but tonight I'm not going to go into all of this. Uh, rosemary, wonderful, wonderful oil. Um, I put it in my hair. Um, very, very good respiratory function. Um, if you're having uh, maybe like a, a cold or something, very, very good to rub on your chest, to diffuse. Uh, you could take it internally. Um, it's, it's a 
very, there's not enough could be said about, about this particular, uh, about this particular oil. Um, so, and turmeric is going to be the last one. Now, I decided to, to talk about turmeric because we actually have, um, an, not only do we have turmeric oil, but we also have a turmeric supplement. And this supplement is not just your average type of a supplement. Okay, and we can talk a little bit more about that. But the one thing that I do want to say about turmeric, it's getting a lot of publicity these days. And why? Because people understand that inflammation is a problem. Inflammation equates to pain. The more that we can reduce the unnecessary. Now, God has given, our, our, he's given us that inflama inflammatory process for a reason. It's a cascade of events, and inflammation is all part of it. But then there are times and there are situations and there are uh, uh, issues that we might have that cause inflammation for reasons that should not be there. And that's where there are some essential oils as well as some very, very good things that we can eat, tart cherry, um, uh, pineapple. Um, there are other things as well. I'm sure, you know, Francis and um, others on this, on this uh, Zoom could probably chime in right at this point. Uh, but turmeric, it's, it's getting a lot of attention and for very good reason. This oil should be in our daily lives. It should be in our daily lives. It supports healthy glucose and lipid metabolism when taken internally. Now, we all understand glucose is something that a lot of folks with you know, type 2 diabetes deal with. Uh, not as much with the type 1 that, that you could really control, but with type 2, glucose levels are very, very important. All right? Um, it also, when you take it internally, it enhances cellular antioxidant enzymes, things such as glutathione. Now, that's another buzzword that a lot of people talk about today. And you could do a little Google search on glutathione and see the benefits of that uh, that thing in your body, all right? It enhances cellular antioxidant enzymes, turmeric does, all right? It also helps to support healthy nervous and cellular function. And just remember, we are what our cells are. That is the basic building block of life is the human cell. That is where life begins in a cell. And lastly, I wanted to just make mention of lemongrass. Now, lemongrass, if you diffuse lemongrass, you know it. Lemongrass has got a powerful aroma and a very, very pleasant aroma uh, at that. But a lot of people, you know, they don't understand, you know, th th this, is, this is a grass. This isn't a fruit. It's called lemongrass, right? Um, it's very, very good for sore muscles. You can put it on with that deep blue that I was talking about in a couple previous slides. Um, you can cook with it. Uh, you can combine it with peppermint in a capsule to support healthy GI function and to, to maintain that healthy digestion. If you've got a UTI coming on, you put a few drops on, on your hand and you get it over your kidney area or over your, your bladder area. Lemongrass is very, very good for you can put it in, in a, a glass of water and it, and it will do the same thing as well. Um, very, very good for urinary uh, tract uh, issues. I wanted to talk just very briefly about uh, the doTERRA CPTG standards. The founders of, of uh, doTERRA were committed to providing only the highest quality and the purest essential oils so that families could know with a surety that they were using only the best to promote health and wellness for their families, for their loved ones. And so in comes this term that started with doTERRA, and it is called CPTG, which stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And what that means is that doTERRA, what they do is they review each oil for their chemical composition right after that distillation process. They test it again once it gets to the doTERRA facility. And then a third review of that chemistry of the oil is conducted right before those, those oils are bottled, packaged, and sent out. The reason that, that doTERRA does this is because they want to confirm
that their essential oils are free of any contaminants at all, that no unexpected alterations occurred during the production. Now, when you pick up a bottle of essential oil, such as you see here, a bottle of lavender from doTERRA, you could rest assured that there are no artificial synthetics, no fillers, nothing added to that oil at all. It is 100% and only 100% of that oil. When you go to, to, uh, to, uh, to Walmart or you look on Amazon, what you're going to find are oils that are very cheap. And you look at it and you say, wow, frankincense for five bucks? Hey, you know? You tell me, if you, if you Google the harvesting method of frankincense, there is no way that it even seems reasonable that a bottle of frankincense would only cost $5. When you see the labor that goes into harvesting that frankincense, all right? So what doTERRA does is not only do they provide such high standards for their oils, but they also go into what's called co-impact farming. They also give back to the communities that they take from. Okay, now not taken in, in a wrong way, because not only do they hire these people to not only grow and harvest, they also hire them to distill. And then they also take some of that and through all of our very generous donations that we make every single month, they give back to these communities, all right? And doTERRA is a, a very, very generous organization. And there, a whole, an entire presentation uh, could be spent on co-impact farming um, and the Healing Hands Foundation. But I'm not, I don't have the time to do it tonight. Um, but those are things that we can talk about. Um, if you want to jot them down, we can talk more about them. Or you can Google those. Co-impact farming slash doTERRA and Healing Hands Foundation slash doTERRA. I wanted to talk just a little bit about skincare because somebody that's on this call wanted to know and understand a little bit about skincare. This is one particular skincare line. We also have another. I have been taken back by not only the quality of these products, but the way that they have been working for me. All right. Not only have I used um, the products or not, not, all of the products, but a product in this kit. But then I've also been just now using this whole kit. And I absolutely love it. I love the way it makes my skin feel. Um, I love the way that it smells. I love everything about it. When you look at the ingredients of, of these products, it makes you feel good putting this on your skin. And we can talk a little bit more about the individual um, uh, ingredients of these. But I did want to just make mention that if there's anybody out there that's interested in skincare that is of the highest quality, and not only of, a, of the highest quality, but that will last you a long time. Literally, this, this Virage toner right here that I'm, that I'm pointing to, I take my, my, my hand and I spray one spritz of it in my hand, rub my hands together, and that is for my entire face. Same thing with the, with the Virage cleanser, same thing uh, with, uh, with the moisturizer, and the same thing with the serum. One squirt is all you need for one application. So just imagine how long these bottles will last, but this system is so awesome. I mean, you literally, you feel, you feel as though you're at the spot when you're using these, and I, I can definitely attest to that. Wanted to talk just a, a tad bit about essential oils and the cool things about them and just how that they're safe, effective, and affordable. I wanted to make mention that with um, the safety of the oils, you want to be very careful. Um, you don't want the children to be playing around with the oils. Uh, you don't want to get the oils in your eyes. You don't want to put the oils in your nose or your ears or uh, any type of sensitive area. But I also wanted to just make mention though that you can, there's no reason why you could not put lavender oil on a cut or melaleuca on a cut. I know that there, you know, that there are a lot of, you know, um, people that would say, you know, well, don't put it on broken skin or whatever. No, you can put it on broken skin. You don't want to put it on mucous membrane areas, okay, which would be your eyes, your nose, your ears. Um, most of these oils are safe for internal use. 
but you do have to be careful. You want to make sure that you do read the labels. All right. Um, the effectiveness, we did talk about the, um, uh, just how they absorb literally right through the, um, the membrane of the cell. We can talk more about that uh, on another uh, presentation. And we do these presentations every Friday for those of you who are on for the first time. Um, and every Friday, I do something different. I, I, you know, put together a different slideshow. A lot of that is um, what people want to hear about. Um, I try to include those types of things. Um, these oils are also very affordable. When you're figuring that you're only using a few drops of, of each bottle of oil, they are very affordable. Um, so the three ways that we use them, uh, just briefly I'm going to touch on it. Aromatically, which is where you can literally just open up the bottle and breathe it in. You can use it topically, which is where you rub it on your skin, oftentimes with fractionated coconut oil, as is depicted there in the circle, or you could use it internally. That's where you put it in a, a glass of water or in a veggie cap. And while I'm saying that about water, I better take a sip. Sometimes I get to talking and I don't think about drinking. Okay, how can we get these oils in our homes? We have got kits and what these kits do is they provide uh, free enrollment. So you buy this kit at 350, that is wholesale price and you get free uh, enrollment in doTERRA. Everything is at wholesale price. Um, it's a, this kit right here is wonderful. Um, there are people on this call that have actually gotten this kit and love it. Um, I absolutely love these products. Almost every one of these products I use. Um, the toothpaste is unbelievable. Um, it doesn't have any fluoride in it, but it's a wonderful toothpaste and it does the job, all right? You, there's a, a plenty of essential oils there. There's a diffuser. You get the, the uh, lavender, lemon, tea tree, peppermint, breathe, digest, zen, on guard, deep blue, frankincense, or rev, oregano. You get the whitening toothpaste, the on guard cleaner concentrate, which makes a lot of spray bottles filled with your cleaning solution. You get the foaming hand wash as well as the dispenser. Um, you get the sanitizing mist, which is uh, basically a hand sanitizer. All right, and then you get the, uh, the shampoo and the conditioner, as well as that cool uh, diffuser. There's a healthy habits kit, which um, uh, includes the supplements, which I did not talk about. I usually do in the past uh, few classes that I've, that I've taught, I did talk about the supplements. Uh, these supplements are superior to anything that you, are, that you can find on the market, and I can show you why. All right, but that's going to be for another time. Uh, you get that deep blue rub, which is the deep blue oil, but it is in a, 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 a lotion that actually allows the, the spread to be a lot easier, okay? L people absolutely love that deep blue rub. We've got a healthy star kit. It's $160, and what this does, this is probably the most inexpensive way to get essential oils into your life. These gives you, or this kit, I'm sorry, gives you 10 foundation oils that we spoke of at the be, uh, fairly at the beginning of this presentation, and it also gives you a diffuser. Um, this kit right here gives you basically everything that you need uh, to get started and to address almost any situation uh, that you might have uh, in your life. And then there's this kit, which is actually the, the bottles are larger than the one in the previous slide, and they do give you a few uh, different ones, such as the adaptive and the copaiba and the balance, um, and the diffuser is a little bit different as well. And then if, if, you, if you don't want to buy a kit, you can always just purchase oils just, you know, a la carte, you know, if you just want a bottle of lemon or if you just want a bottle of lavender or whatever. I'm just letting you know how you can get these oils into your life. All right, and if anybody is interested, just let me know and I will help you uh, to get your own account. Now tonight, um, I'm giving away some free things, all right? I am giving away some samples. I'm giving away samples of the Deep Blue Rub, which you see in the top right-hand corner, and I'm giving some samples of the shampoo and the conditioner, which you see in the bottom left. I'm also um, going to give uh, to the winners, um, an A to Z guide, which is, it gives a, um, a lot of uh, information 
on different conditions and it gives the oils that could actually help, such as asthma or arthritis or um, uh, digestive issues or bloating or um, uh, uh, female issues, pain. Um, in this guide, you're going to find uh, answers. All right, so these are all free. So what we're going to do right now is I am going to stop my sharing and I am also going to, I'm going to stop my recording.